Good morning, folks. This is Zayma, some Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our technical analysis video. Today, we are going to look at one of the most famous and my favorite stock, which is Facebook. And of course, the question that we be answering is, what is next for Facebook? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? So we will look at that from a technical perspective. So let's begin. But before we do that, it is important for us to go through this uh, slide of disclaimer and risk warning. So anything which will be discussed in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisor. The full risk warning and disclaimer is in front of you. Now, let's begin so as always the chart which is in front of you guys is uh, sorry the platform is your mt4 platform and the price action is your candlesticks chart now as always we will begin by looking at the daily chart first of all and the first thing that we need to do is determine how high or low we are on the curve now the question is, what is the curve? The curve means the highest point on the chart and the lowest point on the chart. If they are joined together by any line, by any segment, then we will have a curve. Now, this being the highest point, if the price trades somewhere around here, we, with respect to its highest high, we will say we are very high on the curve. If the price somewhere around over here and the lowest low is over here, then we're going to say the price is trading at, uh, towards the low of its curve. Now, the importance of this particular concept is the higher we are on the curve, uh, that then the chances of the resistance zones working at that particular point are a lot more higher. Similarly, the lower we trade on the curve, the chances of the support zone working more effectively are more higher. Now, looking at the price action, the price for our, uh, Facebook closed at 165 yesterday. So we are still very much low towards the uh, on, on, on this curve. So meaning we should be really looking at buying this, this particular asset because we are low on the curve and because the support zones are more likely to work now the first support zone with respect to that is this particular candle as you can see the bullish candle now we are not going to take the bottom of this candle and then take it to the close why because that makes our support zone a lot more higher a lot more bigger so in fact what we are going to do is we're going to pick up another support zone which is going to run again to the bottom of this candle but we can encompass the close of this particular candle and then which will run from 150 to 153 this one is going to run from 142 to 144 the most that you can do with respect to this particular zone is again encompass the close of this particular candle but keep the other line wrapped up at the bottom of this particular candle now as you can see the price we yesterday we've seen this massive move to the upside now as of today if the futures are already trading to the upside the price is very likely to come into this resistance zone now if the price does come into this resistance zone it is likely for the price to break this resistance zone and for that particular reason given the strength of this the, the 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 trend that we are seeing i think it is important for us to move our resistance zone a little bit higher to give us a better chances of taking that trade so in order for us to do that i'm going to take the the candle this red candle into play and i'm going to mark my resistance zone by taking the top of this particular candle and putting the other line just below the open of this candle now if the price continues its journey to the upside and it comes into this area of resistance it is highly likely that we may see some sort of a resistance but that doesn't mean that the price is going to come to move lower because we need to pick up the points which are high on the curve right and because we know those resistance zones are going to be more effective so that is why we are going to wait for the price to come into here and then perhaps think of taking that short trade 
but if the price fails to stop over here and it continues its journey to the upside then the next resistance zone is right over here again taking the top of this this candle and the other line is going to be wrapped just below the open of this candle and remember the three important moving averages your 50 your 100 and your 200 day smooth moving averages or simple moving averages are also in line with this resistance zone so for now the the support zone is going to stay over here we're going to wait for the price to come over here if the price comes and then retraces back that particular candle at that particular time is going to form our new support zone we are going to move these support zones to the top and we will wait for the price to come into here the bigger fruit for this this trade is to go to the upside because we are low on the curve and we should be really looking for trades which are skewed to the upside okay folks that's all for today and i hope this helps and i will see you guys tomorrow stay safe stay inside thank you